Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Yep, it's me, all right. This is my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead, and we are going to have some fun here. All right, so um, let me set the stage here because I think there is a little bit of confusion. Uh, just this past Friday, I explained to you that I believe that there is a high probability of a uh, sell-off here in this market come January. <laughs> I never said there's going to be a stock market crash, and I, I already see it. Uh, Greg Marino is calling for a stock market crash. No, I'm not. Where did you guys get this from? I said a drop in the market. I did not say a crash, period, the end. And anyone that's telling you there's going to be a crash in January is more than likely deluded or delusional. Um, why, why would I say that? Because I fully believe that the end game of these central banks is going to be fulfilled. And that means more debt, more cash added to a digital screen, uh, buying of the entire yield curve, the repo operation is going to get kicked up. And if these things play out, and I believe they will, sure, a pullback in this market come January is extremely bullish, meaning stocks are going to go up. So, like I said, it's amazing. I see things and then people conjure up whatever they want to. Um, show me where I said, please, for those of you that, that said Greg's calling for a crash. Uh, where? Where did I say that? Oh, I'm glad I got that out of the way because I just laugh sometimes. I really do. Uh, anyway, so that's the story here with regard to this market, the, I don't know your, what your perspective might be on this, uh, but the distortions are going to get worse, way worse. The gap between the economy and the economy and the stock market is going to get wider. It's going to get wider. Um, the, 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 the manufacturing sector is going to continue to free fall. Uh, th there's absolutely no doubt about it. Y you know, the service sector is going to continue to free fall. This is where we're at. Uh, we're not making things. We're not exporting things. Uh, so look, it's a grim picture moving forward. But again, that does not mean stocks are not going higher. And I, I really do believe that the Fed is about to do something and they've been doing it. Look what they're doing right now in the propaganda. I mean, I don't know how many of you caught the absolutely propaganda article. I think it was on, um, oh my goodness, I, f I think it was on CNBC. I don't remember where it was. But anyway, uh, Goldman Sachs is saying, oh no, the Fed is not going to be adding stimulus. Really, Goldman Sachs? Uh, I happen to know some of you that work at Goldman Sachs and you're laughing your asses off. But the fact of the matter is, the Fed is already adding more stimulus than they have ever added before. And they're going to continue to do so, fiscal stimulus, to this market. It's unbelievable. So when you hear, you got to look for the propaganda. you got to look for the nonsense articles. And you got to call them out. That's what I do. It's seriously true. All right, so look, let's get back on track here with regard to this market. Uh, we are still in that euphoric phase, uh, year-end, where the bonuses... Uh, of the CEOs of the corp of corporate America get paid out depending on their uh, share per st uh, price per share of stock. So you can expect stocks to go up in the short run here um, unless a, some black swan event rears its ugly head. That's where we're going. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And um, we need to capitalize on this. Look, we have seen a... Some kind of, as a matter of fact, we've seen this before. What am I talking about? At the top of every bubble, and that does not mean that we're not going up from here, we see some kind of a multiple expansion with regard to uh, the price that people are willing to pay for a share of stock. Now, that's exactly what we're seeing here. We're seeing a multiple expansion. People are willing to pay more. Despite the fact that earnings are going nowhere, nowhere, and these companies are buying back shares of their own stock as well. It's incredible. So uh, 
again, it's it's a very familiar thing. There's nothing new here. We're just seeing a repeat of history over and over and over again. Now let's talk about a few other things. Crude oil, just about $62 a barrel, and it's going up from here. This is stock market positive. You know that. The tweets from the president are stock market positive. The fact that the man cannot control himself. Every time the, the market hits a new high, <laughs> You know, he can't help himself and he's got to start tweeting about it. This is a mechanism as well to push stocks higher. The fact that there's no target date whatsoever on the supposed signing of the deal. This is getting strung out. Stock market positive. So look, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. It's impossible. It's incredible. Um, so that's the scenario for this stock market. Crude oil is going up. Now I want to talk about cryptocurrencies. I want to talk about metals. Yeah, metals have could have bid as of late, but they've been range bound. And, and, and to me, as long as the risk on game remains, they're going to stay range bound too. Uh, buy every single dip with regard to these assets. That's, and these are long term things too. You know that. I've been explaining to you since time and freaking memorial that metals are the place to be and you need to be stacking and stacking and I'm not talking about the paper derivative I don't touch it I don't trust it it's just not real there's no price discovery mechanism at all behind precious metals and you know what they do they run up metals like they're doing now we've seen them catch a bit and then they, and they slam it and then people go why are you crying for let them hit it. Let them hit it over and over again because we know the end game. The end game is to inflate and inflate some freaking more. It's so simple. All right. Um, now, now comes the fun part to me. What we are going to do right here, and I'm going to keep this interactive. Uh, I want to go over some charts with you. I want to give you some new uh, stock picks. Now, hold on a second. With regard to the stock picks, it has come to my attention that some of you are using my stock picks as day trades. Uh, I never said these were day trades. Uh, so if you want to day trade them, you know, you should be using a system that works, either my quant system, which you can get from my website, or the boom system on my website as well. So, you know, when my stock picks are more or less buy and hold. These are not trades. I trade ticker S P Y. Period. You all know that this is the ETF that tracks the S&P 500. So you know, don't be throwing cash blindly at this market without having an understanding, because you're going to lose. You will lose, and that's the last thing I want any, anything to happen to you, all of you. So what we're going to do now in the description of this video is a link to my website. TradersChoice.net. If you do not see the link, go to TradersChoice.net. Open another window now. We're all going to meet over there and we're going to cover a few things. So I'm going to open up TradersChoice.net right now. Okay. Number one, I want you to scroll all the way, all the way, all the way down here. All right, bottom of this page. Now you're going to see again below 100% free stock screener. I want to cover some of this. I've given you several stock picks as of late. I want to give you two more and we're going to cover it real quick. Scroll down on this um, stock screener V. This is Visa. Okay, see where it says strong buy here? I want you to keep that in mind. I want you to scroll down further. Procter & Gamble. Okay, PG. So ticker V. Ticker PG, both have a strong buy recommendation here on my stock screener. Now, let's go up here where it says SPY right above here on my boom system chart. Let's analyze these real quick. Uh, let, let's see what the details say to the right. Let's go V, enter. Okay, details. You don't even have to look at the damn chart. Visa, details. I mean, look at the buy recommendation. It's almost off the scale. All right. Uh, this is the boom system saying, hey, you know what? This is a buy. Now let's look at the change the ticker V to PG. Enter. Same thing. Very strong buy recommendation here. Now I don't give a damn. 
that this that these are in the, at the high end of their range. Some of you people drive me nuts. Just because a stock is at the high end of its range, do you think that's bearish? Really? I'm going to let you in on a clue. When a stock is at the high end of its range, it's bullish. This is a big rookie mistake that a lot of people make. All right, I want to look at a couple of other things. I want to look at Bitcoin versus US dollars. So put BTC. Now, you see all these things that just came up? Let's scroll down to BTC US dollar. Click on that. All right. Now, we got a buy recommendation here. Uh, and they've been catching a little of a bid lately. However, comma, I still think they're going to be range bound for a while. And that is opportunity, people. Let's do GLD. No, I hate this. GLD is the paper derivative of gold. There's no buy rec There's no uh, price discovery. There's also a buy recommendation here. Let's look at SLV. Enter. Same thing. But again, uh, don't. If you want to trade these things, do so at your own risk. I don't touch these ETFs. I wouldn't touch it with my worst enemy, for which I have none. We we'll touch it with their cash. It's all. It's all just garbage. Now let's analyze one, one more, actually two more things. Let's do USO, USO, enter, uh, the United States oil fund. I mean, look at this. Look at the recommendation here. It's almost off the scale. Uh, crude oil is going up. Now I want to do two more. All right, bear with me. I want to do SPY, enter. All right, this is the... Um, ETF tracks the S&P 500 buy recommendation and one more DIA enter the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF uh, also I wouldn't say it's off the Richter scale buy but it's uh, it's a buy nonetheless all right um, now go to the top of this page all right scroll to the top now you see where it says credit spreads get paid up front to trade stocks a lot of people have been asking me, where do I get the quant system from? Click on that. Click on where it says credit spreads, get paid up front to trade stocks. It's right here. The Secrets Wall Street does not want you to know. Intraday trading quant system. 0, 0.00. It's free. 100%. Click on that. Boom. Ah, what do we got? Intraday trading quant system. And look what it says. Price free. Download this, all right, for yourself. Let's close out of that page, all right. All right, here we go. Um, so in summary, where we are at right now, um, market trajectory is higher. Crude oil, higher. Cryptos and metals, range bound. Um, there's no reason why you can't buy here anyway. You should be buying it across the board, both of these things, allocating funds, into cryptocurrencies, into metals, as far as I'm concerned, these are the long-term bets against the dog shit US dollar for which our president keeps screaming from rooftops how he wants a weaker dollar. And the Fed is going to comply. That's their end game. They want to dilute the dollar. They're going to increase purchases of, of debt across the spectrum. And what's that going to do? It's going to dilute the dollar at one point. So understand, that's where we are at. Uh, and take advantage of it. I, I don't know another way to put it. All right, so um, I think this has been important. I covered a lot of things with you. Please share the video. This guy's out of here. Love you a lot. I will see you in the morning, and it's going to be just as lovely as it's been right now.